Christ this morning. In our final moments of worship, I just want to invite you to press in to the heart of Jesus for you. Maybe you want to just close your eyes as a way to shut out everything else and focus on the person of Jesus. Scripture illustrates how he loves us so much like a shepherd who's lost his sheep would leave the 99 to find the one. And at one point we were all that one that he pursued us while we were still sinners. He died for us. And can I invite us to just in this moment of worship, just to ex invite you to express your gratitude for his pursuit and his love for you. In your own way, in your own heart, just let that gratitude flow out of your heart and out of your mouth and just begin to thank Him. Just even simply say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love for me. Thank you, Jesus, for your pursuit of me. Thank you for giving it all. And Jesus, we as your people come and gather together with a heart full of gratitude for what you've done for us. That you loved us so much that while we were still sinners, you died for us. You gave it all. Lord, we just give our lives right back to you in return. We worship you. We love you. We give you all the glory and all the honor that's due your name, King Jesus. And everybody said together, amen, amen. Come on, can we applaud the Lord? Yes. So good. Man, I love it. It's so great to worship with you. I love to see our youth down front worshiping God with everything you got. So good. Why don't you do this? Say hey to somebody around you as you're finding your seats, man. That'll be super cool. Full house today on a Sunday morning second service. Wherever you're joining us from online, it's super great. I want to acknowledge you here at LifeGate Church. Great to have you here. Oh, y'all being so friendly right now. This is nice. This is good. Man. All right, that's enough, that's enough. Settle down, settle down. Got a lot to do. I'm just playing. Hey, if we haven't had the chance to meet, my name is Jake Adams, I'm the campus pastor. And man, I hope to meet you one day if we haven't had the chance to connect face to face. I'm so excited y'all are here. Today is a big day. It's a special day because it is Baby Dedication Sunday, y'all. We love this day, yes. I love it. It's an opportunity for you as the congregation to meet and connect with new young families in our community. It's also an opportunity to welcome many extended family that are visiting for the first time. Can we just acknowledge those that are here for the first time? Welcome to LifeGate Church. So great to have you here if you're visiting. Well, baby dedications are a big deal to God and to us because they're an opportunity for these young parents to give back to God the very gift that was given to them in the form of this child. And it's also an opportunity for these young families to partner with our kids' ministry as they embark on this first significant and major milestone in their little one's life. And we do baby dedications for two reasons. First, it was what was done for Jesus when he was a baby. We see in Luke 2 that his parents brought him to the temple and they dedicated him. And we see Simeon prophesying over Jesus in that passage as well. And then we do it secondly because it was what Jesus did for little children. We see in Mark 10, Jesus saying, let the little children come to me, valuing them, celebrating them. And he says, he blessed them. And so we have an opportunity to follow in his footsteps and do that very thing here today. So I want you to meet these fine, amazing families. I want to introduce these wonderful little babies. Look at all these. This is incredible. It's great to see you all today. I love it. I like that tie. That's good. You're doing it. So over here we have Lincoln Michael Linen with parents Abigail and Taylor. Can we celebrate them? I love it. We have Nora Joe Connell and parents Shelby and Wesley. It's great to see you guys. There she is. And we have Josiah Wallace Scott DeRosier. Jim is here. It's so great to see you. I love it. And we have, look at her. This is Leah Valen Lockhorn with parents Jenna and Ryan. It's so great to have you here today. 
and little banner Paul Zink with Jacqueline and Jeremy. It's great to have you all here and your other family members. I love it. Well, at this time, I want to invite our dedicators up on platform. And our dedicators are Brad Adams, Taylor Foster, Patty Adams, Sierra Fortune, and Chuck Fletcher. You all need to know that these are incredible leaders in our community with a recognized gift of prophecy. And they have been praying for each little one for the last number of weeks, discerning a word of encouragement, a prophetic word for your little one. And I know you have met them and uh, been encouraged, parents, by this word. I encourage you to hold this word close to your hearts, even in the days and months ahead as uh, you, you see your little one grow and reflect on this word and see how it's revealed in their lives, where we know that it will be a blessing and encouragement to you. I also want to acknowledge Pastor Shelly Ballard, who is here. She's our kids' pastor. She's going to lead us in our dedication. Yeah, you can celebrate her. She's super great. We like her around here. I love it. Pastor Shelly, take it away. Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm going to turn my back to you all, but I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just going to address these beautiful people back here. Um, this moment is very significant, uh, very powerful, and I believe a holy moment. So I just encourage you to take it in, take a deep breath, um, just enjoy this moment. It's going to be awesome. Um, at this time, I'm just going to read a series of statements. It's kind of like uh, I liken it to marriage vows, and um, I'll read them. And then at the end, I'll just ask you to uh, commit to it if that's your desire. And so here we go. In presenting this child to the Lord, do you recognize him or her as a gift from God entrusted to you by God? Do you pledge as parents to teach, train, and encourage the child in the ways of the Lord, knowing that God has equipped you to carry this out? Do you dedicate this child back to the Lord and ask for God's will to be done in his or her life and the destiny that he has for your son or daughter. If this is your commitment, then respond by saying, I do. Awesome. Okay, at this time, we're gonna see if they'll let the dedicators hold them. Um, we'll have them hold them up to the Lord as we present them back to Jesus. Awesome, okay, we're doing good here. All right, so let's lift these babies up to the Lord. We set them apart for his purposes, that his destiny would be fulfilled in their lives. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Awesome, they're doing good. Okay, if you all would extend your hands towards them, we're going to pray for these precious children and their families. Well, Lord, we do um, recognize that each one of these children is a gift from you, an absolute miracle, God. We celebrate their lives today, God. We give them back to you, knowing, God, that you have a purpose and a plan for each one of them, God. We ask that they would know you at an early age in their life and that they would follow you all the days of their life. Would you fill their parents with wisdom and grace as they lead them in the ways of Jesus? So, Lord, we give them to you today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, can we give them a hand as they exit? I love it. So great for you all to celebrate in this milestone event in our young families' lives. Meet them, and hopefully you'll see them around here at LifeGate. Be able to connect with them. They'll be great. Well, I just want to acknowledge anyone who is new or newer to LifeGate. Maybe in the last week or so you've been visiting, or this even today is your very first time. And man, I am so excited that you're here. I know it is a brave thing to step through the doors of a new church. Check us out. And I believe that you belong here. We want to invite you into connection and community in any way we possibly can. And so we want to invite you to take the card that's at your seat back pocket for you, fill that out, and take it out to our Connect Zone after service where it's right by our main entrance, friendly people there. I know them well. They are great people. They will be able to answer any questions you have, encourage you, and then celebrate you by getting a gift into your hands, and it will be a blessing to you, I know. We just want to invite you 
to make LifeGate Church your place. That would be great. And then, listen, if you've been with us for the last number of months and you're going, I like LifeGate, I, I'm down. 